All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction video for today. I'm here to take a look at an official trailer for Under the Banner of Heaven, which actually this trailer came out yesterday, completely missed it. Uh, then I looked on uh, comingsoon.net, shout outs, they posted it. I was like, oh, cool, Andrew Garfield, ooh. Um, it's an FX show, and uh, I'm assuming it's a show. Uh, unless, does FX do movies on their their channel? I'm not sure. Do they do like original movies? I have no idea. I'm assuming it's a show. Uh, Andrew Garfield. He's great. Go check him out in movies. He's in a bunch of them. Tick, tick, boom. Uh, that Spider-Man thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's other things. He's in a lot of stuff. It's Facebook movie. Everything. He's great. Uh, anyway, so let's take a look at this official trailer. Um, let's go. Three, two, one, play. Mm. Oh. Moida. Moida. Heavenly Father, we ask that we might be instruments in thy hand. So he's a cop. To fix what we find broken. Very religious. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. Say it. No, no, oh no, no. Okay. I just realized what was going on there. A woman and her 15 month old child yeah. were murdered in their home. We are asking the public for their help. We are Is that Sam Worthington? That usually locks his doors. So for now, we feel it's prudent to err on the side of caution. The evidence points to things and to beliefs that I have yeah. whispered. I haven't seen him in years. What the hell? I don't go digging in the past. And neither should you. I'm getting true detective vibes. The first moment anyone set eyes on her, they were hooked. An evil presence is in his family. What if this case isn't just a husband who turned against his wife? What if tonight is just the first edge of a bone? No, oh, hey, it's that guy from uh, Peacemaker. That was totally him, right? Our own desert's floor. Hands up right now! This goes beyond just a murder. Beyond everything, I believe. Well, that looks really good. Original series. Streaming. Oh, shit. Oh, good. Only on Hulu. Oh, perfect. I guess, does FX and Hulu have a thing? Okay. I didn't know that. Um, all right, that's cool. Hey. I don't have Hulu, but that looks solid. If I hear that's great, I might actually watch it. Because I really want to watch, Um, is it Tokyo Vice? I don't know. if Is that good? I have no idea. Is it out yet? I think it's out. Is it? It didn't start? That was like at, at the end of March it starts. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's like May or something. Uh, cause I really want to know if that's good. If it is, I might watch that. I don't know if I'll do a reaction for it. Cause I, I want to watch more shows, but every time I watch a show, it's like, I feel like oh, I should do a reaction. And then I, I go, I go back and forth and then I just never do it. So I, th I want to watch more shows myself. Um, but, uh, this looks good. That looks really good actually. So, uh, Sam Worthington, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Hey, Sam Worthington hasn't been in a lot of stuff. Uh, he was, I think the last thing I saw him in was in Hacksaw Ridge, I want to say. Uh, he's going to be in Avatar, obviously, so, hey. He still got that. He looks really old. It's probably because he's old. <laughs> he's probably in his late 40s at this point. Uh, Sam Worthington always, was always one of those actors where everybody shit on him. But every movie role he had that everybody shits on him for were not great roles so everybody shits on him for not being a good actor but like clash of the titans like i mean who the fuck would make that role good uh even the sequel wrath of the titans uh even avatar like his character is just the hero guy you know what i mean jake soli um what else i thought he was the best part in terminator uh salvation honestly like i thought christian bale was good he was fine uh, he was better in the behind the scenes um <laughs> fucking rant you know it's so amazing uh but i always thought sam worthington was the best part of that movie like even though they they spoil the twist which would have been a really cool twist in the trailer for his character which is funny because they do the same fucking thing in the fifth terminator movie too genesis so i don't know what the fuck it is with uh, all these terminator movies want to spoil their twists but i guess they kind of did that with terminator genesis right not that it was a twist but you know they they spoil like the cool intro for Sarah Connor and they, they don't spoil it exactly, but it's very obvious what's going on with the, the, the Arnold T 800, you know, 
I guess if you just have a brain, then you know, <laughs> you know where that's going. Uh, anyway, uh, that looks really good. It looks really dark. Very true detective. Um, which I only watched the first two seasons. I thought the second season was good, just nowhere near as good as the first one. Uh, I heard the third season's much better. Not as good as the first one, but much better than the second one. Which I st- I kind of enjoyed the second one. It had, it's weird. The second one had like very odd writing comparatively. Like it, it wasn't terrible, but it was not good like the original was. Um, also, I thought Vince Vaughn was incredibly over the top. But I really enjoyed Colin Farrell in it. I thought Colin Farrell was really good in it. So, anyway, Rachel McAdams. That was her, right? Or was it Rebecca Hall? I always confuse those two. I think it was Rachel McAdams. So she was good, too. Anyway, uh, Under the Banner of Heaven. Looks good. Anyway, there you go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.